to get his revenge and how in a final against 25. the Welshman. It is the African warrior, Devon Peterson, against the world number three, Gerwin Price. I'm Chris Murphy. And Paul Nicholson joins me for commentary on this one. Outside. This could be a real coming-of-age moment for, for Devon Peterson, couldn't it, Paul? Yes, it could be. It's new territory for him. Oh, so Devon's won the ball. But I don't envisage him being caught in the headlights. If we are in for something similar to that game from the summer series, well, you better put your seatbelt on because this could be good. <laughs> but both players, Murph, know what they're in for here. One and they know what they're going to have to do. Try getting those darts apart. It's like they were magnetised to each other. Well, he's got plenty of practice. That's number 24 57. in terms of maximums for this afternoon, Devon Peterson. Well, one thing that will settle you down 80. is a 180 at the start of a final. I remember the first Players' Championship that I ever won in Coogee Bay, Australia, against Robert Thornton in the final. I started with 180, 180. And after that, I was completely chilled. So maybe that 180 for Devon will just settle any nerves that he possibly has coming from the semis. Well, only one player has managed more than Maxis today. That's Joe Cullen, but... I feel certain that Peterson will pass the 25, tallied up by his semi-final opponent. There's no way he doesn't hit three more 180s in this match. He's not going to get one now. He's not going to leave double two. 168. Why as not? good as a maximum. Yeah, I have seen players run into trouble, actually, over the course of the week doing things like that. 100. Devin knew exactly what he wanted to do, knew exactly what he wanted to leave, and he's been doing this for fun over the last four Game days, shot. and he's done it again to take the first leg. Not only the most prolific 180 shooter in the world right now, and by that I mean the amount that he hits on average per game, but it has to be said, is he the best double eight hitter now? Because every time he leaves it, 83. He gets it. I can't remember the last time he was on double four after having hit the inside of double eight. Well, Peterson has produced the goods, 85. not just today, but and not just this week, in fact. He's been doing it all year. But just to give you an idea of the kind of stuff he's been producing throughout the course of this afternoon, dominant victories in most of his matches. 58. The only one that kind of an outlier is the second round win against Joe Mernon, which was 6-5. Before that, he'd beaten Robert Thornton 6-2. Then he whitewashed the world number one, Michael Van Gerwen. Defeated his World Cup teammate, Jermaine Wassermena, 6-3. And then averaged 110 against Nathan Aspinall before a very convincing 7-2 win against Joe Cullen in the semi-finals. I've got two points to make at this juncture, Murph. One, I think Price is playing a little bit slower. I think he's trying to make sure that Devon's not doing anything at his own pace, which is perfectly legitimate. One hundred second point is, when Devon's in the Grand Prix, I think he should start on double eight. Yeah, interesting thought, interesting thought. <laughs> 180. But there's another one of those 180s. Is he going to be finished on double eight in this leg? Game shot. Price does finish and levels up. Yeah, that semi-final they had in Milton Keynes at the summer series was quite remarkable. Price... One hundred and forty. Huge average from Peterson, one hundred and thirteen and a half by the South African, and he ended up losing at seven six. Echoes of that Rima van Barneveld, Phil Taylor Premier League match, which defied logic. Did get a little bit of revenge, didn't he? Here at the Autumn Series, one hundred on the opening day when he beat Price in the last thirty-two, averaging one hundred and seven. He's averaging 107 right now, so yeah. he's obviously comfortable with whatever Price is going to hit him with. Well, just to go back to your point, if Price is playing at a slightly slower pace, I assume he would have employed the same tactic in that match. Peterson may well be used to it. Well, if it is a tactic, it's not working. Two, foot, two 140s and a 180 in this leg. 58. And I think Price just does the things that he wants to do to make himself feel comfortable. Game right shot. now, he has every right to feel a little bit 
uncomfortable about being 2-1 down, but Peterson has found his mojo, averaging up to 115 now. Yeah, there's something very, very admirable about the way that Devin Peterson has responded to those semi-final defeats, particularly the one on the opening day against Madras Razmar, a player that he probably would have been expecting to put away. He would have thought, this is my best chance. But he just keeps coming back. Refuses to roll over and let that become a theme in his head that he's somehow some kind 45. of needy man. He's probably one of, if not the most confident darts players out there. Really believes in himself. Yeah, he's got a great mental strength. One hundred and good positivity around him. But even at this early stage of this climb up the rankings, which is going to happen, it's really important, in my opinion, when you are starting to find form of this magnitude to write down what you're doing right and never forget it because you can forget what you're doing right at these points in your career so my advice to Devin would be to write down what you're doing and don't ever forget it because if you ever need to reference it through a bad period in your career you could remember this potentially and 105 recover. yeah we've had the coaching conversation a couple of times during Peterson's matches he's been taking the advice of Wayne Mardo and it's had a, a profound effect. 100. But I think that's right, Paul. Many players will go to a coach when things are going wrong, but knowing what you were doing when things were right, very handy to have in your back pockets. Now then, Price. Looking down at double seven. 72. Allowing Peterson a chance here to extend his lead. I think he hits this. Double 18. Tricky switch. Nice reset, though. 78. Pulls it. And Price has gotten away with that one. Come on. Game shot. Had the option of splitting that if you chose to do so. Six for double four is something that could have been employed. But there's one word that describes Price most of the time on the dartboard. It is aggressive. 131. Price has just one hundred Ryan Searle, another good performance. In fact, his best performance of the day. A 7-2 win, mirroring the result of Peterson over Cullen. Before that, he'd beaten 44. Nick Kenny, a semi-finalist yesterday. Martin Schindler, Damon Hetero, of course, a winner here on day two. A whitewash win against Ryan Murray, and then a, a tricky victory against a tricky opponent in Mensa Suljevic. I commentated on that match 91. between Schindler and Price. And Price was a little bit fortunate. It was four legs all and looking like it was going all the way with Schindler having the throw potentially in leg 11. Schindler fluffed his lines in leg number nine. And then Price 30. did not look back when he was given a gift. Yeah, well, let's be honest. The stats don't lie. And Devin Peterson is the best performer of the day. If you want to nitpick, you will see that two players have a higher tournament average than they did only play one match, Scott Mitchell and Jeff Smith. Now that game between Scott Mitchell and Steve Beaton was quite remarkable, wasn't it? 45. Good response again from Peterson. Having missed an opportunity to lead by two, he is going to wrestle back that lead. Game shot. And does so on double 16. Starting to see a pattern with Devon's game as well. When you have days 85. that you win, you look back on what you hit. And the games that I've seen Devon play today, he's always in the bottom left corner. He's always on 16s and 8s. I honestly can't remember the last time he was on double four. 60. He's outperforming price. By a long distance, one hundred and eighty in this final. And surely he's going to carve out a break opportunity. Ninety-six. Here. You would think so. We saw that game with Aspinall in the quarterfinals. How many times did he leave himself under a hundred after nine? He's going to do it again. One hundred and five. Sensible switch to the ball. And on this occasion. He shouldn't find himself in the bottom left corner. 60. 
unless he gets to 60, of course, which he probably will. Might have to move. Oh, he's on double four. How ironic. 72. Well, it could get a bit sticky for Devon here. Price will want to tile it on. That first dart made it tricky, but he's done a very good job of navigating a way around that to halve his score. Peterson does not want to halve his here. Game Straight shot. in. Superb. Break of throw. Peterson in command. It's a very good performance. It's complete. The doubling has been good. The 180s have been there. Devin, you'll start, yeah. And everything in between has been very shiny. He didn't actually know that he'd broken the throw then. The match official Owen Binks had to remind Devin Peterson that he was throwing first. Well, that's a sign of the zone he's in. That's a really, really good sign. You want to be almost numb when you're playing in this final. You want 24. your opponent to do the worrying and you want to just continue what you're doing. He might not even know what the score is right now. He's just cracking on, doing his thing. One hitting 180s for fun. And we overuse that phrase, Murph. He is hitting 180s for fun. One hundred and forty. Oh, at the start of this seventh leg. But he can't find a seventh perfect dart. He won't care about that 65. at this stage in this match of all matches. The first PDC final 59. for Devin Peterson. Looking at 76 to extend his lead to three legs over the world number three. Can't stop leaving double four now. 72. Deja vu. Surely he'll feel good, Paul, going for this 96. double, having just hit it. Absolutely. Same process. Different dart. Different double. No score. Different result. Well, Price pile in. I was going to suggest he might pile in a, a dead cat maximum to leave double one, but resisted the temptation. Game shot. Peterson repeats the process and does repeat the outcome of the previous leg. Another thing that has changed in the last couple of years is that he doesn't have as many darts falling on the floor. 96. And I think that has something to do with the balance of his equipment. It's a lot better. The flight is bigger. And just get the feeling that 63. the change of technique, the change of equipment, the entire product has changed. So to have the courage to start from the ground upwards, and then maybe two years later get to this point on the verge of a title, it doesn't just happen overnight. You've got to give yourself a good long period to get it to the elite level. He's been knocking 93. on the door, but now he's got to get through it. 98. Price is flat. And when you've got him flat, this is where you have to strike. You can't allow him any catalyst, any adrenaline. Just keep pounding him. They're on course to produce his worst performance. 140. Of the afternoon at the worst time. Gerwin Price. Peterson is going to be breathing down his neck treble 10 well that is a change of tact for Gerwin Price ends up on double top 50. anyway but what does that say about how he's feeling he did that earlier to my surprise two double tops not to be 60. a little bit cagey he could have been super aggressive on that because Price should surely take this out Game shot. Oh, lovely shot. Look how central that was. A little bit of relief, maybe, from the barrage of what Devon has been doing to him the last few legs. He just wonders where it's been. Price, that reaction says. Just on reflection, it might actually, actually be a, a smart shot from Gerwin Price, not going for the treble 10, avoiding it in the single and then blocking the double top. Yeah, I think that is 100. something he has learned amongst 
some of the other elite players who are starting to see some of the pitfalls of having that single 20 in the way. 100. And it most definitely will come into play with Devon's game if he has 60 with two darts. 134. Well, it is becoming a little more level. Peterson fast out of the blocks. Could have broke earlier than he 100. did before he put himself 4-2 ahead. Extended that lead to 5-2, but Price going a leg back. And now hoping to break, but has to hope Peterson doesn't hit this. He won't, and Price has a chance for the big one. 84. 84 confirmed, and I think he's got to go for the trouble 16 here. 97. I thought that dart was in the way. That one is not in the right bed. But we still have a very, very big moment right here. Double 16 to get within two. 32. That is a big moment, Murph, because if Price gets this, we game on again. Well, his decision to hit the 140 has left him on a dodgy double. He's edging closer. He gets all three darts 15. at it, but he hasn't found it. Darts one, two, or three. Game Dart shot. number one. No messing around. Look at the facial expressions from here on in. They will tell a story. Look at that. Assurance. He knows, doesn't 100. he? He knows. He knows that he can. I think that's important. Win yeah. Model said something about my game once, which I've never forgotten. One hundred. I once said I was the best double 16 shooter in the world. Wayne said, it doesn't matter whether he is or he isn't, it's whether he thinks he is. Right now, Peterson thinks he's winning this game. Well, I think that's sound advice for life, isn't it, Paul? What you think about 91. is what matters. Absolutely correct. Go in price, though. We'll keep fighting. 97. To pay homage to his remarkable record this season. Credit to uh, commentary colleague Dan Dawson for digging out the stat that going Price has reached a final in every single block of Pro 2 events bar one, in which he only played one day. It's amazing accumulation 84. over the course of a season. Not even finished yet. But Just Peterson will get within one. If he hits the ball... Oh, 105. The wire and the point were connected. Game shot. He's not within one yet. Price gets the gap to two. And it's still game on. But that valuable break of throw still belongs to this man. A big, big leg of 119. What I like to see from Devin Peterson in his response to missing that bullseye is that this is potentially the biggest game of his career and he's enjoying it isn't he i think you have to i don't think it's up for debate i think this is definitely the biggest 42. game of his yeah. career i mean he has been involved in some high profile games like his world championship run a couple of years ago yeah there have been career saving games that he's had so this could be a career making game career foundation that maybe devon 2.0 the foundation is here. That run at the World Championship, Paul, had some repercussions for you, didn't it? 180. Bad repercussions. But Devon showed in his interview with me in the radio 100. booth that time that the belief was there in his head. But what he's done since has changed his life. You have to applaud that. Almost better to see someone 140. Who participated in you losing your two card as Devon's run and Luke Humphreys and some others I think there did 46. to go on and do this rather than waste the opportunity they carved out for themselves completely agree with that oh that's a good out Game that's shot. a good in well not just good but lucky that was in double 15, and I was talking earlier about darts that don't fall out the board anymore, and when he 100. wants one to fall out, it falls on the floor. Well, look at the demeanor now of the two players. It looks like it is going to be Devon's day. 
He's one leg away from picking up a first PDC title. 95. And of all the runs that he's had on paper, this was the least likely. Beating Michael Van Gerwen 96. Beating Nathan Aspinall en route, averaging 110 in the process, and then having to take on Gerwin Price in the final. Sustaining an average of 105 81. throughout the 11 legs in this final as well. Even the little distraction of having to play a really good friend in the semi-final as well in Joe Cullen, who was playing excellent darts himself. Price won't go away. He'll think, 96. I can win four legs in a row against anyone in the world. Doesn't matter how they play. That's what he has to do now. Nine Cannot nine. write him off because the hardest leg to win is the last one. Well, the next one, 59. We'll see Peterson throwing for the match unless Price can't clean this up. Doesn't like that. Game shot. He has managed to use it. A step back, reassessed, reset, and pin the double. I really, really like that checkout. Peterson was on 170 for the title. 97. Trying to emulate the likes of Lloyd, Aspinall, Hanky. 99. Now is a chance to serve for the match, Devin Peterson. Nothing in it after the first exchange. The first dart is just so good. It takes so much pressure off the visit when it hits the top half of that 60 bed. All he's got to do is just hammer it against 100. it. There it is again, but that one's flattened out. Yeah, By well flattening cold. out, it does hit the flight. Well spotted, well called. He needed a second treble, he got one. And again, it's just that mental strength that he's developed as well. Didn't let that bother him, didn't let it fluster him. Well, Price doesn't get the 162 to leave 140, so it's 150 with six. Possibly with three. Shouldn't go 60 here. Doesn't. 72. Don't go anywhere near that 60, go 12. Make the choice and execute. 16 is a good call. That's fine. 86. Yeah, just had a bit of thinking time, but he's got a conventional amount when he comes back. Devin Peterson will throw a dart to win this 104. final. 64 in front of him. And double 16. 32. Just just evades him. Championship dart missed. Price to keep it going. Playing spoiler. Game show. Party shot. pooper. Seven, six. This ain't over yet. The tenacious Welshman keeps fighting. A break back. Peterson will get another chance, but it will be a completely different scenario if Price wins this leg and Peterson has to win it in a last leg. Either. Devin Peterson has not been in this situation before. He's never been in a ranking final. 100. He's now never been in a ranking final with a missed championship dart until just then. 57. How does he react to that? It's all about how he reacts to what has gone before in this final. He has to maintain 43. what he's been doing. If he doesn't, he could get bitten. But only if Price figures out what's gone wrong in the first six starts of this leg. Are we going to go to a sudden death 97. leg? Still well poised, this. Peterson had a, a scrappy visit the last time out, but Price has only found a treble once in his first one starts. That ton from Devin Peterson was excellent. 140. But Price is really starting to find key darts here. That belief 82. that we talked about, he's going to have to find it now. He's in trouble.
58. Well, it's just tidying up, but there is a chance for Devon Peterson to leave this very handy indeed and pile the pressure on his opponent. Wow. Monstrous approach. Now the pressure's on this guy. Can he take the 90? Bullseye to take us to the last leg. 65. Doesn't just get one. He now gets three for the tournament. This is a very different scenario to just having one. No score. Three more match darts missed by Devon Peterson. He is right at the line, but as yet, he is unable to cross it. Game and shot. Gerwin Price forces him to do it the hardest way possible in a last leg shootout. How key is it that he won the bullseye? My nerves are shredded. Four match darts have gone begging. And we're just starting to 44. see some loose starts at the pressure points. Gerwin Price is regrouping here. He's been here before. He's won 11 PDC titles. He knows exactly how to cross the line. Devon Peterson just hoping to trust the process. Keep his self-belief, as you said, Paul. We're also into Gerwin Price's favourite term of the year. He always wins this term of year. 57. This is the time of year where he always wins in Risa, when he always wins in Wolves. 57. There, of course, the carrot of the Grand Slam of Darts is another thing that can be dangled in front of Devon. He won't be thinking about that during this match, but it will be an 100. unintended consequence that he'll move into the provisional spot if he does win this leg ahead of Damon Hetter in the Autumn Series Order of Merit. Oh, what a 180 that is from Price. He hasn't left a finish, but he's given himself a huge gap. And the treble 20s are drying up, and the look is changing. 35. This is now in the hands of the Welshman. Well, let's just remind you that Devon Peterson led this game of darts by seven legs to four then missed four darts for the match three of them at double top in one leg to put price away Come on. game shot but it's and the match. double ten Going that price. leaves devon devastated as price picks up pdc title number 12 another fantastic run from devon peterson he comes really close, but couldn't quite cross the line, and Gerwin Price was there to take advantage. Well, I don't have much to say after that one. My <coughs> nerves are completely shredded. I can't imagine how Devin Peterson is feeling. I've been there myself, losing a pro to a final in a last leg decider. It does break your heart, but you have to give a lot of credit to Gerwin Price, who stands there with Dan Dawson. Well, let's get a Congratulations word. for a start. What was the, you must have thought that final had gone. Yeah, every time I played Devon, he just plays out of his skin. I don't know, he must have a grudge against me. <laughs> I, um, yeah, I was just hanging in there and just hoping for the best. And I think he missed a double in one of those legs, but I'm happy he missed. Look, uh, how's today been? Because we've seen a couple of real flashes of quality, but it's been more of a workman-like one for you. You've not been yeah, smashing yeah. in the 180s no, like you me, normally I do. I mean, the, the first few days I, I've lost with stupid averages and then I'm winning tournaments with, with, with an, I think I was a 92. I mean, I'm, I, happy days. I'd rather win with a 92 than lose with 104. But yeah, Devon probably deserved to win that. But I'm happy I won. We're here. This is the fourth different winner we've had in the, the first four days of the Autumn Series. Uh, yourself, the top three in the world have won one, and we've had a new winner. Michael Van Gerwen, when he won yesterday, said the strength of the field is just so ridiculous that winning these is, is really, really hard. I mean, Devon's just shown that, hasn't he? Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's what the three games I've lost previously, 100 and 200 and 300 and 104 average, it just shows the strength and depth that, that, that the PDC has. And I mean, against Ross Smith, I was lucky to win the first leg, bust the 140 and then win that leg. And then, yeah, he, he, he played fantastic as well. And everybody that I've lost to have, have played brilliant. But I didn't play the best day, but 
You know, that's all you've got to do is get over the winning line and, and, and get a win, and, and that's what I did. How important is it for you to come here after the Premier League, which was obviously disappointing, but you said, look, I'm using that to gear myself up for events like this, ranking events, and then obviously with the World Grand Prix coming up. Yeah, obviously I, w I wanted to get into the playoffs of, uh, of the Premier League, but that didn't happen. But like I said, I was using that as preparation for these. But it's tough, you know, playing you know, 12, 13, 14 days of Premier League, then, com then coming away and, and doing these, I mean... I just feel like giving up every day. It's just it's it's grueling. Like and especially being in this situation where it just feels like you're just locked up. You're in prison. You can't do anything. You, you know, you're stuck in the hotel. You're playing darts for five days a week. And it, with this virus around, it just gets a bit boring. And um, yeah, so go off to Austria next week. Another obviously another tournament tomorrow, but a little bit uh, a little bit easier next week. I think in in Austria where. We're in a bubble, but we've got a bit more freedom, I think. And you'll be playing in front of a crowd, which will make a big difference as well, I would imagine. Yeah, exactly. I, I like the crowd, and I, and I dislike them. But you know, it makes me play better, whether, whether they, they boo or they, or, they, or they do what they want to do. But yeah, it's nice to have a crowd back, a little bit uh, back to normality. But yeah, just see how it goes next week. We'll look back to normality for Gavin Price. He's a, a winner once again, picking up another title. Uh, Devin Peterson making history, the first African player ever to make a PDC final, missing a few darts to win the title. But Gerwin swept it up. We've had four different events so far this week, four different winners. Join us tomorrow for the final event in the PDC Autumn Series. It's Players' Championship 18. Gezi will be here. Peter Wright will be here. Michael Van Gerwen will be here. Devin Peterson will be here. There'll be loads of them, more than 120 of them, with £10,000 first prize and 75 grand in total there's also a grand slam of dart spot up for grabs and a lot of players chasing places at the world grand prix see you tomorrow